The verdict in the trial of the international terrorist known as Carlos the Jackal is due today in France. Venezuelan-born Ilyich Ramirez Sanchez is accused of throwing a hand grenade into a Paris shopping arcade in 1974. Two people were killed and 34 injured. If convicted of first-degree murder, prosecutors want him to be given what will be his third life sentence. Carlos has pleaded innocent and denied involvement in the case. It's taken so long for this attack to come to trial because it was first dismissed for lack of evidence before being reopened when Carlos was finally captured in Sudan in 1994. Once the world's most wanted fugitive, Carlos has already been convicted of a series of notorious attacks carried out in the 1970s and 80s on behalf of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. His lawyers have repeatedly argued against holding this latest trial, saying that the attack was too long ago and that it won't make any difference to jailed Carlos.